So these are the clownfish larvae. These are the Ocellaris clownfish, the, the Nemo clownfish that everyone knows. And these guys are about, uh, about five or six days old today. And so they just hatched last week. And in this tank, there's probably one to 200 individuals, uh, which is a relatively small um, clutch size, but um, this is the first spawn from uh, these pairs since they were shipped here uh, about a month ago. So we were, we were really happy to see that the eggs were viable and that the larvae were viable. And the larvae seem really healthy. They, they're really active and they're eating well and they're growing well. And they'll actually start to resemble little clownfish probably in uh, two or three weeks. They'll look like little miniature adults. So these are the Ocellaris clownfish and these are the adults. The female is the larger one and the male is the smaller one. And um, the reason why clownfish are particularly useful to have around is that the, the spawning methods and the rearing methods are documented and well, well developed. And so um, they're actually a commercially available um, fish as far as being cultured, which is very different than the vast majority of the coral reef fish that we're studying. And so by having a fish here that we know we can rear all the way through, we can start to uh, train those methods to the students that are working with us. Uh, because it's a fish that can be reared, the students can um, experience all aspects of the culture cycle from caring, from the, caring for the adults to taking care of the larvae to raising the live foods that are necessary and those types of things. And because it has a relatively short larval cycle of only a month, uh, within the time frame of one semester you could have uh, you know from egg to little juvenile fish already completed. Now with the continued affiliation with HPU and OI there's uh, kind of renewed interest in expanding the course offerings that could that could be uh, accommodated out here and so one of the goals I would have in, in bringing these fish here is to try to get that going much sooner than later. We are actively trying to build uh, this ornamentals research program back into our work in the finfish department. I am actually looking for uh, interested students, so anyone that wants to come down and, and volunteer or intern uh, or help out in you know, taking care of these fish or, and starting to, to build this uh, back up, I'd be interested in talking with those.